Hi children, how are you all? I hope you all are doing fine and staying safe. I am Binita Asnayar, an English faculty of Silver Hills Higher Secondary School, Calicut. I welcome you all to this session of English for class 7th. In our previous class, we started a story written by R.K. Narayan, A Snake in the Grass. And today we are going to continue that story. Let's see what we discussed in our previous class. Before getting into the story, we threw light on the life of R.K. Narayan and then we discussed a few things about nature and the first few paragraphs of the story, A Snake in the Grass. Let's recall the summary of the part which we read, the first four paragraphs. A snake enters the compound of a bungalow, a bungalow where mother and her four sons lived and they had a servant named Dasa also there. Upon getting the information from a cyclist, the family members and neighbors go in search of a snake. So the cyclist rang the bell and informed the family member that a snake has entered into their compound and he went off from there. The family members and the neighbors, they all started searching for the snake. And people, they started blaming Dasa for being lazy and not maintaining the garden. But Dasa had his own excuses. He said that he had been asking for grass mower or grass cutter for months, but mother and her sons are not buying to maintain the garden. Later on, all the neighbors, till afternoon, they searched for the snake in the grass, but they were not able to find it. And at that moment, Dasa appears there and asks the people that where is the snake? And that was the point where we stopped our story. Today we are going to continue the story and we are going to find out where the snake is. I will read the next two paragraphs of the story and uh, you listen carefully then we will find out the new words which appeared in these two paragraphs. An old beggar cried for arms at the gate. They told her that they were busy with the snake hunt. On hearing it, the old woman became happy. You are fortunate. It is God himself who has come to visit you. Don't kill the snake. Mother was in hearty agreement. You are right. I forgot all about the promised Abhishekam. This is the reminder. She gave a coin to the beggar who promised to send a snake charmer as she went. Presently, an old man appeared at the gate and announced himself as the snake charmer. They gathered around him. He spoke to them of his life and activities and his power over snakes. They asked admiringly, how do you catch them? Thus, he said, pouncing upon an imaginary snake on the ground. They pointed at the direction in which the cobra had gone and asked him to go ahead. He looked helplessly and said, if you show me the snake, I will catch it at once. Otherwise, what can I do? The moment you see it again, send for me. I live nearby. He gave his name and departed. So the new words which appeared in these two paragraphs are arms, money or food given to poor people. If poor people they ask for money or food that is known as begging. And when we give something to poor people that is known as arms. Fortunate, auspicious, or favorable, or we can say lucky. Snake charmer, 
an entertainer who appears to make snakes move by playing music. So actually snake charmers are entertainers but in our lesson the snake charmer word is used in the sense of a snake catcher. Admiringly in a way that shows respect or warm approval. Pouncing, spring forward suddenly so as to attack or seize something, all of a sudden taking something. Helplessly, with no ability to act or help oneself. Now let's go back to the paragraph. An old beggar cried for arms at the gate. They told her that they were busy with a snake hunt. So now when the moment Dasa appeared there and asked where is the snake, at that time the family members they said that they are busy searching for a snake which has entered their compound. On hearing it, the old woman became very happy. You are fortunate. You are fortunate means you are lucky. It is God himself who has come to visit you. Don't kill the snake. Now, uh, children, you all know that uh, according to the Hindu uh, religion, people, they believe a uh, snake as Lord Shiva itself. So this lady, this woman who came there, she said that do not harm the snake, do not kill the snake because you people are fortunate as God himself has come to your house. When she said that Lord Shiva has come, mother also was in agreement with her and she said you are right I forgot all about the promised Abhishekam and this mother she had uh, promised some offering somewhere so uh, this was a reminder for her this is the reminder she gave a coin to the beggar who promised to send a snake charmer and she went so mother became happy and she gave a coin to the beggar and the beggar went and she promised to send a snake charmer who could help these family members to find out the snake. Presently an old man appeared at the gate and announced himself as the snake charmer. Now after some time a snake charmer enters the gate and the people, those who were searching for the snakes, the family members, uh, the neighbors those who were searching for the snake they all gathered around the snake charmer and they asked admiringly anxiously they asked the snake charmer how do you catch them these people they wanted to know how he could catch the snake children you might have heard about uh, the very famous snake charmer of our state Vava Suresh so like that this person was also able to catch the snakes they, when they asked, he said, pouncing upon an imaginary snake on the ground, with all his actions, with all his imagination, uh, he did action like as if he is going to catch a snake. So at that time people, they pointed out towards the direction in which cobra had gone and asked him to go ahead. He looked helplessly and said, if you show me the snake, I can catch it, otherwise what could I do? So the snake charmer said that if these people can show him the snake where it is, he can immediately catch, otherwise he is helpless to do anything. The moment you see it again, send for me. I live nearby, he gave his name and departed. Now the snake charmer, when he was not able to find the snake, he said that uh, he lives nearby, he gave his name, address and he went from that place. Now let's see what happens after that. At 5 in the evening, they threw away their sticks and implements and retired to the veranda to rest. They had turned up every stone in the garden and cut down every grass blade and shrub so that the tiniest insect coming into the garden should have no cover. They were loudly discussing various measures they would take to protect themselves against reptiles in the future. 
when dasa appeared before them carrying a water pot whose mouth was sealed with a slab of stone he put the pot down and said i have caught him in this i saw him peeping out of it i saw him before he could see me he explained at length the strategy he had employed to catch and seal up the snake in the pot they stood at a safe distance and gazed on the pot dasa had the glow of a champion on his face don't call me an idler here after he said mother complimented him on his sharpness and wished she had placed some milk in the pot as a sort of religious duty he picked up the pot cautiously and walked off saying that he would leave the pot and its content with the snake charmer living nearby he became the hero of the day they watched him in great admiration and decided to reward him educatedly so the new words which appeared in this paragraph implements means tools people they brought so many tools from their house uh, to clean the garden shrub shrub means bushes small small plants sealed closed securely slab a large thick flat piece of stone or concrete strategy plan complimented praised so let's see at 5 in the evening so these people the family members the neighbors everyone was busy searching for the snake since morning now it's 5 in the evening they all threw away their sticks and implements means tools whatever they brought uh, to clean the garden to search the snake they threw everything and they retired to veranda to rest they had turned up every stone in the garden the garden was so clean that even if a tiniest insect would enter that could be seen very clearly the grass blades the shrubs everything was cut so low and now when so many people were gathered there at that time they were discussing about various measures which could be taken to protect themselves against this reptiles in the future at that time dasa appeared there carrying a water pot and the mouth of the water pot was sealed mouth of the water pot means the opening from where we fill the water so that part was sealed with a slab of stone he put the pot down and said i have caught him in this i saw him peeping out of it i saw him before he could see me so dasa very cleverly he started explaining people that how he caught the snake and uh, how he was able to seal the water pot he explained at length the strategy the plan he applied to catch the snake so when people they came to know that a snake is inside the pot they all maintained a safe distance from the pot they stood at a safe distance and gazed at the pot gazed at the pot means looked at the pot amazingly dasa had the glow of a champion on his face don't call me an idler hereafter he said so till now people they were telling these family members that you uh, have a lazy servant your servant is not maintaining the garden and they all were blaming dasa uh, for uh, this uh, snake menace the snake which had entered the garden now dasa had that proud feeling in his face and uh, a glow on his face of a champion was there and he said that now you are not supposed to call me idler or a lazy person because you people were searching for the snake since morning and you could not find now it's me who has caught the snake mother complimented him on his sharpness and wished she had placed some milk in the pot as a sort of religious duty now mother she believed in all the religious rituals so according to the hindu religion people they offer milk 
to Lord Shiva. So she was wishing to uh, keep some milk inside the pot before Dasa would have sealed it. He picked up the pot cautiously and walked off saying that he would leave the pot and its content with the snake charmer living nearby. So Dasa very carefully he took the pot and he said that he is going to leave the pot with the snake charmer who lives nearby. Now Dasa became the hero of the day and everyone watched him in great admiration and they decided to reward him educately means properly because uh, he had taken much effort to catch the snake now something has to be given to him so people they decided that they will reward dasa for his good work now let's see what happens in the last part of this story it was five minutes since dasa had gone when the younger son cried see there out of a hole in the compound wall, a cobra emerged. Emerged means came out. It glided along towards the gate, paused for a moment to look at the gathering in the veranda with its hood half raised. It crawled under the gate and disappeared along a drain. When they recovered from the shock, they asked, Does it mean there are two snakes here? The college boy murmured. I wish I had taken the risk and knocked the water pot from Dasa's hand. We might have known what it contained. Now when Dasa left that place saying that he is going to leave the water pot with snake in it with the snake charmer who lives nearby. After five minutes of that incident what happens the youngest son of the family he cries loudly he shouts loudly and he says see there out of a hole in the compound wall a cobra emerged so now these people they are seeing one more snake there it glided along towards the gate paused for a moment looked towards the gathering and it vanished off inside the drain and when people they recovered from the shock they started thinking does that mean there are two snakes here so the college boy murmured i wish i had taken the risk and knocked the water pot from dasa's hand and now people they are thinking that what really was there inside the pot or whether there were two snakes or Dasa had played some tricks on them. Now this college boy he is saying that he wish that he would have taken the risk and knocked the water pot to see what actually it contained. So at the end of the day Dasa became the hero of the day by saying to everyone that he has caught the snake but now here another snake they saw and that snake disappeared in the drain. So Dasa played very cleverly, very cunningly to become the hero of the day. Hope you all enjoyed the story. Now here is an assignment for you all. Write the events of the story, a snake in the grass in your own words. Hope you all enjoyed today's session. See you in the next session. Take care. Bye.